Shalom, family. Shalom. Yes, peace and blessings to you all. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We are journeying with us. Mm -hmm. Family of seven, digital nomads, traveling in Africa since 2020. So we've been loving it this far. Yep. And we are here to help you guys and give you the experience that we have so you won't be caught in anything that you shouldn't be. So this information that we're going to be sharing today is going to really make you or break you here in africa so stay tuned guys yeah i mean this information you know you have to have the logistics and this is something that so many people overlook over the years we talked to some diaspora that have come to africa whether it's tanzania kenya ethiopia south africa zambia ghana nigeria senegal gambia wherever some make it and some don't you know first we always talk about this mindset if you decide on a thing stay steadfast to the end to see the thing through but there's also a logistical point that a lot of people don't talk about. A lot of people don't talk about how critical it is to have the right infrastructure in place with your finances. Because if y'all don't know, okay, I used to work in fraud at Chase Bank, okay? And so I know this system intricately. It, at the bank, if somebody is in another country mm -hmm. and it gets flagged, or if it appears like they're in another country, the system, it's not even a human. AI will automatically flag that account, shut it down. Now, if you are over abroad, if you're in Zambia, if you're in Ghana, if you're in Tanzania, Kenya, Ethiopia, and you don't know this information before going and preparing your journey before you travel to Africa, then you land and you're like, why can't I use my card? And we'll be like, bam, you should have been watched our channel. You should have watched all of our videos. You should have signed up for Dream Life Africa or stay the diaspora because we talk about these things in detail. detail exactly. exactly. Like that can make her. Can you imagine that? Yeah. I mean, and we, we kind of had uh, experience like that, but we're not going to go too much in detail. Everything worked out because we research and we do um, our due diligence to make sure everything's good for us. Yeah. So with that information, we want to say, just make sure when you travel, make sure you have a couple bank accounts, at least three, not a couple, at least, at least three. That's the least. And when we say bank accounts, I'm not saying um, in the States, uh, Chase, Huntington, and Wells Fargo or something. No, you need international bank accounts. You need yep. online bank accounts. Then you need an offshore bank account. Exactly. And that's basically offshore because some online bank accounts will help you uh, with your offshore bank accounts. So we're, we're just going to list a couple for you guys. Mm -hmm. And I hope you guys pay attention because this is very, very important information like we just said, it will make you or break you. Right. Yeah. Depending on where you're at. Now, we are from Ohio. So this first one, Citibank, y'all. If we would have known that Citibank is on the continent, Citibank is in Southern Africa. Mm -hmm. Okay. Citibank is right there. If you're from Cincinnati, Cleveland, Columbus, if you're in Ohio or the Midwest and you have Citibank available, go ahead and open that account and understand that you're going to be able to utilize it on the continent. Okay. Number two, Discover Bank is the same way. Now, I don't think we had Discover in Ohio, mm. but I've heard of Discover, yeah. especially for business relationship banking. And so that could be an excellent one for you to open right now today. Now, these exactly. are not offshore, but they're going to help you with your offshore accounts because obviously you're going to have to transfer those funds if you want to diversify your income and your revenue. Mm -hmm. Number three is our favorite. You know, we always talk about this and on this channel, we are the first ones who talk about it on YouTube. It is the best bank account out there. Okay. Yeah. What's number three? Number three is SoFi. SoFi, SoFi, SoFi International. SoFi International. It is, <clears throat> it is um, an awesome, awesome bank. Um, I say that because you can really hold money in there and your money will make money. So we, we experienced that and it's like, wow. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we just put it in the savings and just let it sit for six months, for a year. And you got a, a couple thousand dollars that you didn't have to work for. Why? Because that 4% APY, which is literally exactly. like your money, like you were saying, your money will just build up and make money. So if I paid you back, it's like when you have your 401k from your job, your W-2, and they're like, we'll match you 2%. So if I matching you 4%. 4%, okay. exactly. So you really got to pay attention to um, uh, things like that when it comes to bank also. Because certain banks do like 0 0.02 or 0.1 percent, but mm -hmm. if if you if, if you have a bank that will give you four percent, you got to take advantage of that. And that that will literally make you or break you, like we keep saying, because that's that's just a blessing in disguise right there. Like I'm telling you, we put 
You put a hundred dollars in there, let it sit, and then you come back six months, and it's not a hundred dollars, it's more. Just imagine that. So these are the little things that you have to pay attention to when you're yeah. traveling abroad, when when you want to move abroad. Yeah. And this is exactly what we talk about in State of the Diaspora yeah. and our 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 e course uh Dream Life Africa. Yep. So make sure you check the links in the description. Uh, make sure you just do your due diligence to really take this stuff serious. Take this information and yeah. and eat it like the word. Yeah. Yeah, because it's only going to help your move. You know, you see so many people that just make the wrong decisions when coming to Africa. And in one stance, you feel bad. You're like, oh, man, that's bad. But on the second stance, you're like, man, this information is out here. It's not yeah, like exactly. we're not giving out the information. It's not like there's not courses, consultations and strategic advice available you know, it's just we're in the age mm -hmm. of information. It just doesn't make sense exactly. to have failure in these logistical standpoints coming from a place like America that has a lot of these things readily at your fingertips. If you don't have time, you have money. If you don't have money, you have time. And mm -hmm. so that means that you either need to be doing the research. If you have lots of time, maybe, you know, you just got lots of time on your hands. Maybe you got laid off. You got time to do the research or you're a busy entrepreneur. You're busy at your W-2. You don't have the time, but you have the money. So invest that money in getting the knowledge that's going to save you thousands and thousands of dollars in the really? long run. Y'all, yeah. people waste thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. And some people will probably come in the comments and testify like, yeah, I should have did that different. Yeah. Get the knowledge because, you know, us as a family of seven, we're, you know, we, we don't make much room for mistakes. You know, we're diligent. We have a spirit of excellence about mm -hmm. us when it comes to these logistical things so that we don't run into any problems. That's how you not run into problems when you want to move to Africa. Get exactly. your offshore bank accounts. And then once you get into actually having your visa permit in the country of choice, of course, we always suggest that it is a visa-free country for Americans to be your home base. And then if you want to diversify like that, you want to go on vacation to a different country, you want to mm -hmm. travel, whatever. But at least for the countries that are visa free for Americans, you get a permit there, then you can get your offshore oh, bank account, exactly. which is what we just experienced, which is so exciting. Sat mm -hmm. in the bank Friday. Yeah, it, it was very busy, <laughs> <laughs> just like in the States when you go. No, it's worse in the States when you go to the bank. They were just very, very busy, you know, in the States, usually mm -hmm. It's just faster Maybe in the it's States. Just it's just faster. I don't know if it's just Ohio. And everything's we just faster in the States. Yeah. 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 I don't know what, yeah. Maybe it's what you said. Everything's yeah. just faster. But it, it all worked Waited out. Waited two hours and it worked yeah. out. Everything yeah. worked out. So, yeah. yeah. But with that being said, number four would be WISE. Yes. That's an online uh, bank account where you can literally have millions of dollars in there. And hold different currencies. Like, really, and hold different currencies, like you just said. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um send different currencies to people in Africa, okay, yeah. Asia, the Middle East. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So that that's a that's a good one to have because especially if you're um as we know, put it like that, the US dollar um is still strong, but um it's always good to compare the US dollar to certain um currencies. Mm -hmm. So just today I had to send some money to someone in Tanzania. Mm -hmm. And when we left Tanzania, I believe it was one dollar would be two thousand three or four hundred T shillings. Yeah, two thousand three hundred twenty five. Yeah, so um today it was one dollar is two thousand seven hundred and thirty two. So the US dollar is still strong in a way against these different currencies. Um so that's why we suggest, you know, you really open these bank accounts, use use this leverage while you have it. Before mm -hmm. it's too late, because once once it's too late and a U.S. dollar is reversed, yeah, like yeah, fifty t shillings or uh, fifty thousand t shillings would probably be one dollar pretty soon. So you really have to understand what's going on in a way. Yeah, absolutely, you have to. And then you know, like you were saying, be steadfast about it. Get it done early. Don't linger. Don't delay. Don't say. Oh, the dollar will be good forever. Let me just sit here forever, y'all. Just watch mm -hmm. January 2025. You know, you can almost guarantee that things are going to take a strange shift, especially the BRICS people. They're getting in power. You have different geopolitical things coming in. And so it will behoove you to just 
start opening these bank accounts and diversify your revenue so you can hedge a little bit of your resources. You got to use wisdom. Even Joseph in the famine came into Pharaoh's house. Pharaoh, he mm -hmm. was number two to only Pharaoh in the land, the evil, treacherous land of Egypt, which was also the most strong world power at that time. A Hebrew man came in and would advise Pharaoh and say, look, this is what we're going to do. And you know what Pharaoh said? Pharaoh was like, Look, I don't want to do deal with it. You, you do, it. <laughs> do all of it. Yeah. You're wise in this area. You put out this strategy. You tell us how to survive in this famine. And it was seen as this graceful impact that the Most High imputed to Egypt and then also saved the lineage of our people yes. who were in Egypt at that time. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, number five. Chime. They're excellent. You know, we've used them online bank the reason you want to use these online ones as well as your traditional banks like wells fargo chase is because again chime you can take money out without getting flagged so far you can take money out charles schwab you can take money out without getting flagged chase depending on how chase is feeling that day <laughs> <laughs> you hope you get the right bank teller whoever the fraud analyst whoever they are you hope you get the right one. Hopefully they know English as well, because that can be an issue. You're talking to somebody, they don't know English. You're like, hey, I'm just traveling in Kenya. They're like, oh no, you're a fraudster in Kenya. And it's like, yeah. you're going to have a situation on your hands. You can avoid that situation simply by having your international bank accounts ready. And again, have at least three of them at any given time. You know, it'd be better if you have five. Like that's how the, ideally... You want to think like that when you're diversifying in these last mm -hmm. days, okay? You want to diversify your property, your projects, your residence. You got citizenship in America. You got residence in this place. You want to be diversified so that you won't have any trouble. You have more freedom, flexibility outside of Babylon's system. Mm -hmm. Or as much outside as you can be because obviously we know, you know, give Caesar what's due to Caesar and give the most high what's due to the most high. But... You don't have to literally live in that system and only be in that system for the rest of your life. You can leverage it. You can get your own reparations just through knowledge and wisdom and gratitude. And you, you're going to be living your best life like we have been and hundreds of our clients have been over the years. You know, exactly. it's crazy to say that. Yes. Because we launched Stream Life Africa in 2021. It's yes. Crazy. Yes. So, I mean, guys, amazing. make sure you guys uh, check the links in the descriptions. Um, also, a couple links will make you money too. Yeah. So you got to take advantage of the referral program um, and that will give you free money, like really. So if you know people that might, um, is interested in traveling soon and need this information and they need to switch their money here, you, you might can make money off just what they're doing. So you got to be very diligent in these last days and understand how you can really diversify your money. Yep. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, leave us a comment and let us know your thoughts. Yeah. And make sure you share the video. So Shalom. we appreciate you guys for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Shalom.